So now in this video, we're going to look at the HCSR501 uh, PIR sensor. So PIR stands for passive infrared. And so you can see right now, the output is low, according to the oscilloscope, and the LED went off. When it senses uh, motion, the output goes high for three seconds. And now we have to wait about five seconds before we do that again. So I'll try to sneak in from behind. There we go. And... So all we have to do to operate this, first off is power it. So I'm gonna use five volts. I guess you can go up to uh, 12 volts. And I think 4.5 is the minimum. So of course, I always make sure you verify that before you use it, but it's working just fine with five volts here. The uh, unit here, so that power supply comes to these alligator clips there. I clip them to jumpers, put the jumpers to the uh, rail, blue, to uh, blue, that's the negative side of the power supply, and then red to positive, and then I have other jumpers, bringing it to the other rail. So all we have to do is power the uh, module here. And so I have the orange jumper to the positive rail, the green jumper to the negative rail. So orange is VCC, green is zero volts or ground, and uh, we just plug it in like that. So VCC to the right there when you're looking at it this way, ground to the left there, and then the middle pin is the uh, signal out. And I don't know the uh, proper term for it, but uh, in any case, it's outputting, it's lighting the LED, and also the oscilloscope is measuring the voltage. We can change the sensitivity with that. So this is a trim pot, not a multi-turn trim pot though. It's turned all the way to the left right now. That flat edge, we could turn it all the way to the right. And we set the time with uh, this trim pot right there. So it's turned all the way to the left now. We can make it longer. I think it's up to five minutes if we turn it to the right that the output will be high. And then this jumper prevents it from repeating. We can move it to repeat. And I don't know, I didn't look into that in much detail. So other than that, for the most part. So that's it. We power it and it waits for a motion after a certain, I guess you would call it a cool down period or something and uh, hopefully I don't uh, falsely trigger it again before okay we went past five seconds so let's go up to about nine seconds and there you can see the output goes high and then for about three seconds again we can set that longer so that's really about all there is to this uh, pretty simple and uh, so you can hook it up to Arduino or something but uh, that's the uh, basic properties so make sure you check out one of these other videos and uh, click like, subscribe, and uh, click the bell. I'll see you in the next video.